the car now going up College Avenue. St. Michael's Church and School on the right. And over the road is the huge hospital known as, used to be known as St. Luke's, then it was Marquette General. Now it's the UP Health System Marquette. And they're building another bigger, better hospital as well. It's a Duke Life Pond Hospital, so I guess it's merged with Duke Life Pond. Anyway, it's huge. Only place in my life where I've ever driven underneath a hospital. And we're going up college. It's an uphill climb, as anybody who's walked it to get to Marquette Senior High School knows. You can see from the inside of the car that the rain has stopped for the most part. We're finally getting some sunlight. And you can see there was a lot of leaves that came down today with the rain and yesterday. I'd say the peak of the color season has come and gone in the city of Marquette because of the two days of rain. And now the dip. And now it's uphill again. And now the light. go straight ahead here you're in the parking lot for Marquette Senior High School. I'm going to drive to the left and show you Lincoln Avenue which used to be known as the end of Marquette. The city of Marquette ended at Lincoln Avenue. This was before they built the high school out here. I remember when the high school was built it was considered to be built on the edge of town. Anyway you can see the road is uphill and uphill we used to walk from the end of Magnetic up to Lincoln, up, up Lincoln's Hills, then down Lincoln's Hills, down to Washington, and then home. That was my dad's idea of a five mile walk. Then we get in the car when we were done and put the odometer on and see how far we'd really walked to see if it was five miles or 5.2. We used to call Lincoln Avenue Beer Can Alley. Beer Can Alley because at that time there was no real uh, 10 cent returnable on recyclables so this is where people would be driving and throw out their empty beer bottles. We never ever found a beer bottle on Lincoln Avenue that had beer in it. People around here drained their beer bottles before they threw them out. Now going down the hill you should get a general idea of the amount of color that's been affected by today's rain. There's some gray way back up there. You can also see a construction crane, which is interesting. Anyway, the bottom of the hill used to be the Bunny Bread Bakery. Now it's a huge, well, I want to call it a mall, but it's got a mixed use office building, other things going on there, and they're doing some construction back there as well. Wish I could tell you what they're making, but I can't. But if you look to the right, you can see a bank building and there's some other offices in there. Then the holiday cleaners and the Admiral gas station. And then we're back to this turn. Well, if I look at that sign, it looks like it could be some more either offices or housing. Anyway, you can see the huge construction zone is all around there. And as I recall, this is a very long light. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, so people are heading home from work. And here we go. toward the lake on Washington Street. And 
again, the rain just stopped. It's been raining, unpleasantly cold, dark rain for the last day and a half. 42 degrees. The only reason we didn't have snow is was 42 and not 32. But this is Washington Street now coming into town. Lots of changes. Here's Elwood Mats. I don't know the name of that park. Sorry. Veterans Memorial Mall is now at that park. And we're moving into Old Marquette. And some of the buildings are essentially the same, but all of the businesses seem to have changed. The Marquette Food Co-op used to be, that was where um, there was an office supply store, gas station. The warming center sign you see up there is for um, homeless people to have a shelter during the cold weather. The Ramada, Flanagan's, Coach Light Restaurant, different law offices. That business is Northern Hydroponics. I suspect it has something to do with agriculture. Okay. A lot more arts and crafts stores in downtown Marquette. Ever since Walmart and the other big stores went in out on Highway 41, downtown Marquette isn't as much for shopping as it is for tourists. There's the Mining Journal building, Old City Hall. That's now an office building. Courthouse and the post office are still in the same place. That's the federal courthouse, not the state. There's the Delft Theater, and across the street from there used to be the Nordic. The Nordic is long since gone. I was a ticket taker there when I was in high school. I can tell you the price of the movies was $1.75. I can still rattle off how many two tickets, three tickets, four tickets, five tickets were for $1.75. But I can tell you right now, you can't go to see a movie any place first run for $1.75. The Delft Theater, the theater sign is still there and they're doing some sort of renovations. I don't know what building is going to go in there or what business. This is the block between 3rd Street and Front Street and it's a lot of tourist stuff. There's one really nice book bookstore. There's some restaurants, good restaurants. And then there's just a tremendous amount of... Uh, arts and crafts and jewelry stores and Michigan artwork, things like that. And then you have the lake. And I'm going to end this now.